Oh, oh, I hear that fish sizzling. Smells delicious too. Oh, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Good morning, Survivors. Polly Jr. here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We are back, baby. We're back. Back at the camp office in Mystery Lake. It's so good to be back home. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. And I did get organized off camera and dropped a bunch of things. Um, we have we have a lot of stuff here. And right now it's kind of early morning. I don't really want to get my... Well, okay, let's do it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to use my fuel up, but we have plenty of fuel. Let's just have a look around really, really quick and we'll get started on the day. No more walking simulator today, my friends. Now that we're back, we don't have any walking to do today. We do obviously have to finish our what that's music uh, our original journey out to the airfield um but that's not today not today but soon we do have a few things to handle uh around here before we get started like we need food because we're running pretty low on food we do have some food outside mainly some mres and that's we're gonna we're gonna hang on to those for the trip i think so i think today shall be fishing day no more walking simulator, but it's going to be like a fishing simulator. Uh, did I just pick up my metal? I think so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I have a plan. Um, we need to well, we need to make some things for fishing. So they added a new tip-up, which is like an automated passive fishing arrangement. Um, and we can, we can make that right here, pretty sure. Let me just turn this thing off. No, no, no. Turn it on. Extinguish. There we go. Yeah. Now, let's see what we got. So we need to make the actual fishing tip up. Here it is right here. What do we need? Cloth. No, oh, we don't have any cloth. All right, well, that's easily rectified. Here's some cloth. We get uh, one cloth. All right, we'll tear it down. All right, and how about the chitons? We don't need no stinking chitons. <laughs> All right, chop them up. We don't need privacy out here. The only thing out there is the wolves, right? So tear them down. There we go. I think that's enough. Okay. So there they are. Fishing tip ups. Excellent. So we can make we can make uh, two of these because we have two tackles. Oh wait, tackle is the plural of tackle, not tackles. And like I said, we can just drop these in a hole, and they do um, fish. They catch fish automatically. They do require some babysitting because the surface water will freeze over time, right? So you gotta keep breaking through to keep the hole clear. Now, I do wanna make one more fishing line. We can make a, I think we need a, hold on. Let me check my inventory. What do we have here? We have a hook and we have, oh, we have three lines. So I'm pretty sure we can make fishing tackle. That's what I need right there. Fishing tackle, we don't make that on the workbench apparently. Just do it right here in my hands. Attach the hook to the line. And now, um, I think I can make another hook here. We might be able to get three tip-ups and then one line for ourselves, right? According to my calculations, let's see. We don't have a lot of metal, but we can break stuff down if we need to. Um, what are we missing for the fish tip-up? Oh, dang it. Okay. Oh, I screwed that up. Can I break? Can I break the hook down? <laughs> oh boy! All right, we need metal. Give me something metal that we can smash. Uh, oh, the salt here. Oh, right. By the way, I meant to show you some cooking material we have here. We have cooking oil. We have a skillet. That'll come in handy. It sure will. And we have a can opener. Maybe I can break the can opener down for metal. Yeah, I used up a metal that I didn't want to. And we also have potatoes down here, a sack of potatoes. Let's check it out. Open it up. Oh, come on, open it up. Look inside, stick your head in there. And there's taters. I'm gonna leave them in there for now. I don't want them to go bad. Or maybe I should pull them out and throw them out in the snow now that I opened it. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, potatoes last a long time. I think they'll be fine. So now we have a bunch of ingredients we can use to cook with. And here's some this flour, too. Handy. Yes, it will. Excellent. Yeah, I meant to show that stuff to you. I found it after the end of the last episode, at the very end. But I forgot to um, 
grab it this morning, which we shall do and put it away in here. I guess the oil should probably go outside, huh? Because it does degrade. Well, let's throw the flour in here and the salt and the cooking oil will drop outside. All right, now we need we need we need one more piece of metal. Can I break one of these down? Harvest. 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll break one of the can openers down. We have another one. It's fine. All right. We're losing daytime here too, which is not good. Let's go make one more of these tip-ups. And then we'll go do our fishing. Tip up. Do it. Okay, so now we have three tip-ups and we have one fishing line that we can use by hand, right? Fishing tackle. And we have two extra hooks and another fishing line. We'll just hang on to that. Yeah, I think that's good. Boy, we are so hungry. All right, more cattails. That's all we got right now. All this talk about food and fishing and cooking oil and potatoes is making me hungry. There we go. I mean, Pablo. Pablo's hungry. All right, now let's go out. Um, we're nice and light. We have everything we need for fishing. The cooking skillet. Uh, well, I guess we can bring that, right? Let's, in fact, let's grab our pot. Because there is a... There's a stove there in the fishing hut. That's where we're going to go. We're going to do our fishing in a hut. And maybe we can just cook right there if we have to. Okay, gun up. Out we go. Ooh, beautiful day. Just a little light snow today. So it'll be nice and warm inside the hut anyway. Got these two wolves to deal with. Hopefully we can just get around them. They might become a nuisance. We may have to just kill them. I mean, we can kill them and eat them anyway. They do have meat. It is predator meat. So there's a risk of parasites, but I think we can tolerate a little bit of it. Are they coming over this way? I should have brought the riffle and just dealt with them. Well, got a howler here. See if we can get around them. I mean, I'd rather not kill them just to save the bullets for a final trip. Which, by the way, I was thinking of maybe going to the bleak inlet. I want to find that flask, and I did discover that there's four or five... Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, had a feeling. Were you hungry, too, huh, huh buddy? All right. You like some cattails? I'll share. I'm just going to shoot you. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Ugh, I don't have time for this. I wanted to go fishing. Oh, boy. All right, what do we got? We do need the, we do need the meat. So why don't we grab grab some of the meat? 16 minutes. Hopefully his friend doesn't come over here and seek revenge or slicing away. There we go. Leave the other four pounds on there. Um, we'll just drop it right here for now. Oh, no, friend is coming. <laughs> really? With the carcass of your buddy right here? Oh, no, he's going after the deer. Okay, you can have the deer. All right, let's get to the shack. While that wolf is distracted by the deer. And you know what? Don't you kill that deer, because I might need that deer. Although, if this whole fishing arrangement works, we'll have plenty of food for our trip. So I did look into some of the recipes that we can make with the oil and the taters and the skillet and so forth. And there is a peach pie that we can make that will replenish fatigue. Oh, have we been here before? Yeah, I just left a newsprint. Um, by like 40%. So that's something we might make before we go. Oh, I forgot to drop the oil. Oh, drat. I'll leave it here for now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it spoils or not. Um, yeah, so that's something we might want to make for the trip, but it's not something we need to worry about at the moment. Okay, let's... Uh, what do we got to do here? Let's get some holes made up. I think we can do that right here with our axe. Yes, here we go. Excellent. We'll put them right here so we can reach out. And uh, we can check on our tip-ups. 
And we can break the ice as it slowly freezes over time. There we go. Fishing hole cleared. We can put our hook in there. But we're going to use that one for active fishing. And we're going to drop this guy right in there. You can also do a lure. Add a lure and, a, um, and some bait. But I don't think it's necessary. We don't have it anyway. So <laughs> beggars can't be choosy. Okay, we're going to hack another hole right here. I'm not sure how long these holes are taking, but it's already past afternoon, which is kind of a shame. So there we go. So now they just sit there like that, and they'll tip up when they get a when they get a bite, when they get a fishy. I'm gonna put one more somewhere. I'm gonna put one right here. I'm not sure how fast this ice freezes over. But as far as I know, and from what I've read, we do have to actively sit here and babysit it. Alright, very good. And then this one, we're going to hack into and then um, actively fish with our own little fishing line. I mean, we could have put a tip up in here. Oh, we got one! We got one already. Look at that. That was awesome. So fast. <laughs> okay, it looks like we have to hack in to get the fish first. Reach in, pull it out. It's a fresh... Lake Whitefish. Oh, fantastic. Put that guy back in there. Wow, that worked quickly, didn't it? Now, let's drop it, because it is going to be smelly in our inventory. It's five pounder. Wow, it's a big one. Look at that guy. Why can't I place him down? Can't place you down. Just stay right there, then. Um, let's have a quick drink. This is thirsty work, all this fishing, but it is so nice and warm and cozy inside here. We don't even need to get the fire going. Now, did I, uh, I broke this open, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, I hear a ding a ling a ling We got a fish. Oh, we just caught one by hand. 5.63 pounds, a smallmouth bass. I love bass. Caught lots and lots of bass in my day. Although I prefer largemouth bass. There's still, smallmouth is still fun to catch. Oh, yeah, hungry. All these fish making me hungry. Um... Here, let's check these. 27% frozen. Wow. These holes freeze up quickly, don't they? What do we got here? Oh, a burbot. Holy smokes, it's massive. It's 12 pounds. <laughs> That's a lunker, as they say. Grab another one here. And another smallmouth. 9.21 pounds for a smallmouth. That's a pretty good size for a smallmouth. Dang it. I'm just dropping them because it looks like they decay really quickly. What's a burbot? I've never caught a burbot. It's a, it's a catfish. Never heard of a burbot before, but that looks like it's got the little horns there in the, the, in the nose, so it's a catfish. Oh, I didn't put my thingies back in there. My tip-ups. Cool. Now we're going to hack away at this one. Try to keep these cleared if possible, and then we'll um, we'll fish right here. Actively fishing for one hour. And hopefully we hear the ding -a ling a ling Oh, buddy! Pablo, you're not having fun here? This is excellent! We're fishing, my friend, we're fishing! <laughs> oh no, the line snapped! Are you kidding me? Oh, I lost the fish! Is that a thing? Oh, bummer. No way! Why are they breaking? Is it because of the ice? Oh my gosh, we just lost two fish. That's ridiculous. Well, that's silly. Oh boy, look at this. The moon's coming up already. We got some night fishing going. I didn't catch anything that time. It's alright, we got one here, hopefully. Break the ice. Don't break the line. There we go. Alright, um, I think it's time to head back. We'll leave these as is. I think they're okay if they're frozen. We'll just come back and pick up the fish. Maybe I'll get one more. What time is it? Oh my, look at the fog. We do have one wolf out there. Let's fish one more time by hand. There's a jingle ling a ling. Two jingle ling a lings, and my, and my fishing line snapped. Wow. These lines don't last very long. Okay, we got that guy. And we'll replace the tip up. I'm gonna check this axe blade, too. I have no idea how dull it's getting. Hacking away at this ice. All right, look at all these fishies. We got a three, a four pounder, four pounder, 
and then all these dudes. Let's pick them all up. Hopefully, we can carry them. I might oh, wow. have to drop some gear. <laughs> They're so heavy. I am overloaded. 103 pounds. All right, now um, grab your cooking oil. And we gotta get home. I cannot see if there's anything in front of us, like a wolfie. I guess we'll find out. I don't know where this fog came from. Pretty sure I'm going in the right direction. This is some really thick fog. Pea soup, as they call it. I feel like I'm taking old man baby steps here. It's kind of like a, a shuffle. It's the old man shuffle. Oh, right. I was talking about bleak inlet. Inlet? In inlet. <laughs> um, the bleak inlet can be accessed via the forlorn muskeg, which is close to us. And there are four or five spots at the bleak inlet that may spawn that flask that we've been after. So that's something we might do. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Now that we have a lot of food, we took care of that. It is something to think about. It's still a bit of a journey, and there's no guarantee we're going to get the flask. But, like I said, there's four or five potential locations. And since we haven't been to the Bleak Inlet yet, the chances are good that it will it will be there. At least in one of those spots. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Should we, should we try for it? I think we should. Could be fun. And it would be really useful for the last push to the airfield. All right, almost back at camp office. There it is. Man, I wish I had these kinds of fishing trips in real life. Got like 40 pounds of fish on me. I mean, look at this haul. That's insane. Although it did seem like it was only a few minutes of fishing. But, it was a full day. Technically, it was a full day. Alright, so there's our um, broth. I did drop some broth out here. I'm going to drop most of this fish, I think. Maybe we'll keep um, one or two of them. Let's drop that, that, and that. We're going to keep a small mouth and the white fish. And I don't think I'm going to use the oil, because I need the oil for the um, peach pie. So we'll leave the, that for the peach pie. And we'll just go in and cook just regular old fish meat. Fry it. All right, here we go. Just a good old-fashioned fish fry. And wow, it is dark in here. That was a whole day of fishing. All right, I don't think we need anything down here. Let's just go upstairs. Get a fire going. That will give us a little bit of light. And we can turn off this lantern. Put that down for one moment here. Let's grab that. All right, 85% chance. Let's go. So there's a bunch of recipes that we can make with fish, but as I said, they do require the oil. Turned out pretty well. Not bad. Um, and we don't really want to go there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some hole in there too. It gives us two hours for our fish fry. What did I do with the um, skillet? Did I leave the skillet downstairs? I don't remember what I did with the skillet. No, I got it right here. All right, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Let's place the skillet. That's 67%. We might have to fix that up after all this cooking. And we're going to make just a basic fish fry because I don't think we have any other recipes, uh, any other ingredients to make anything more extravagant. Like here's the peach pie, by the way, so that will require our, our cooking oil. And we have the flour, and we have a can of pinnacle peaches, and obviously plenty of water. So we'll make that before we go for our trip. Bannock would be nice too. That's great for traveling. Um, however, for right now, we're just going to go ahead and make some raw white fish. 27 minutes in the skillet. Okay. And then I guess in the pot we can also cook something. Let's go ahead and make our fresh smallmouth. 27 minutes. 
Beautiful. Okay, while we're waiting, let's uh, have some water. Ooh, oh, we're getting low on the water. I did make a full gallon. So there's a little more water in here. Oops, open it up, open it up. Grab some of that. Oh, that's not... <laughs> that is not what I wanted to do. Holy smokes, what a disaster. Are you kidding me? So now I'm going to spend all this time putting stuff back. Alright, go to the food. It was mostly food, right? Look at all that tea. We're going to make maybe a little bit of tea today, too, before bed. Yeah, I didn't need all that. I just wanted to grab some of the water. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. I thought there was more in there. Oh, there's our pinnacle peaches. Got to put that back. Don't need that. Okay, that's better. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to make some more water, I think. So we'll do that before we call it a day. This was a really short episode, though. What else can we do? I mean, I guess we could do another day. Fishing didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. <laughs> I mean, it took a full day, full game day, but in reality, it was only like 15 minutes. All right, there, our white fish is done. Let's not let it burn. Let's pick it up. And let's remove that skillet. Pick up the skillet. Oh, that's hot. But we do want to make some water. It's an hour to melt, and then of course it has to uh, boil, so it's going to be close. But I think we can I think it'll make it. And this is also cooked. Beautiful. All right, let's have a seat here and have a fish fry. I'm going the wrong direction, hitting the wrong keys. Sit down by the fire and enjoy some fresh fish. Let's go with the smallmouth bass. That was the big one, I think. 885 calories. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wow. It didn't even fill us up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Was it even worth fishing? Holy cow. I mean, we spent the whole day fishing and burned a lot of calories. I think it worked out for us. I think, um, I think it was a net positive because we still have a good number of fish outside. And now we have an almost full belly. We might as well eat some fiber with our protein. There we go. Get all the food groups. Now, we do have those potatoes down there, too. We can cook potatoes. Oh, dang it. We could have had fish and potatoes. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Let's go grab a potato. Oh, where's my dang lantern? Take it. Oh! Shoot, I left that thing running that whole time, didn't I? That's fine. We're going to take the jerry can and we're going to fill it up. Man, I am sloppy today. Sloppy, sloppy refuel. Okay, we got plenty of fuel. Drop that. Spark it up. All right. Man, so tired too. Look at the eyeball. That's not good. Let's try to make one, one cooked potato. I'd like to save some of these potatoes for um, other recipes. Although maybe I'm gonna move them all outside. It does look like they might be, they might be degrading. Let's just go cook one and see what we get. You can't eat them raw, apparently. Yeah, which is weird because you can certainly eat them raw. Just peel like them and put a little is salt on my them. Energy. Hold on, buddy. I'm telling a story here. Me and my grandpappy used to eat them like that all the time. Raw with salt. Okay, let's get back to Pablo. How about a nice hot tater, pal? Now, what does it take to make tater? Probably going to require some water, don't you think? 43 minutes to cook one potato, but it gives you 288 calories. You only cook one at a time, huh? Looks like a baked potato, doesn't it? We're going to be cutting it close here on the timing. I do have more coal, so it's not a big deal, but I don't want to use up all of our coal. I want to be able to bring some of that coal with us. Five coal. Hmm, I'll throw some sticks in there. Sticks are easy. There we go. Just keep it going. Keep it going. And now I'm going to run outside real quick and drop the rest of these potatoes. Potatoes. In case we do want to cook them up in the future or use them in some kind of a recipe. I don't know all the recipes, but I do know there's a bunch, but... Like I said, they require a lot of things like oil and flour, and we, we just we just don't have enough of that. 
So I prefer to save what few ingredients that we actually do have for the peach pie, which I think will help us better in the long run, especially in our journey, so that we can restore um, fatigue, or rather reduce our fatigue and restore energy. Especially if we go after that flask, which there is climbing involved, I'm pretty sure. So I think it's best to hang on to these ingredients for our peach pie. I'm outside again. Um, it probably makes sense just to cook some of this fish now while we have the fire going. And we can just put the uh, fillets outside. Yeah, I'm going to use our fuel efficiently. All right, Stanguesh. Let's check on our tater. Is it done? 22 minutes. Wow. All right, still have some time here. Looks like we might need a little more fuel. Well, hate to do it, but we'll go ahead and add another coal. We'll find more coal. In fact, I think there's a bunch of coal in the Forlorn Muskeg. Um, actually, I can't remember if Broken Railroad is first or Forlorn Muskeg, but one of those has a train wreck with a bunch of coal. I do recall. And man, my eyeball is getting low. Let's just pass the time on that. Grab it. Don't eat it. I don't think we need it right now. And I'm going to cook another fish. 34 minutes, 28 minutes. All right, cook it. Pass time. Take it. And cook the white fish. Pass the time. Take it. Another cooking pot. We might as well get some more water going. Yeah, we're not going to finish that now, but we'll leave it up on the stove and finish it another time. Uh, let's go ahead and pass the time for the white fish. Grab it. And I think now it's time for bed. 35 minutes left there. All right, cool. We'll get that snow melted. That's going to be really close. Let's just throw in one stick just to make sure we get the snow melted at least. And then it just has to boil. All right, well, I think it's time for bed. <laughs> Let's have a sip of water. I don't have any tea on me right now, huh? Um, I guess I can make a quick tea. We have plenty of tea, right? Let's make a tea. Pass the time, and we'll drink it. I'm going to need it for tonight. Get a good night's rest. We'll sleep right to the morning. All right, let's hop into bed if I can find it. There it is. We're going to go for like... Go eight hours. Let's go eight hours. All right, good night. Drink his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Now, now, now. We're not that desperate. Nobody's drinking any pee. Here, have some water. Although, don't tell him about the fine Canadian lemonade, right? <laughs> we do seem to procure a lot of water from toilets around here, but just don't tell him. Um, anyway, all right, so it's now morning, sun is up, and we have some work to do, my friends. Let's go check the traps first, our, um, our tip-ups, and we'll grab whatever fish they have caught, and then I think it's going to be a pretty chill day. We don't really have much to do today, although we do want to sharpen our tools and check all the weapons, make sure they're cleaned. And uh, we want to repair our clothing because our, our final journey is getting very close. And we want to be in tip-top shape. I think we have enough food now. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a quick walk. I'm going to put some of this water away. All right. Oh, let's have our baked potato for breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. It's not hot anymore, but it sure is filling and starchy. There we go. And I carried a bunch of books. Let me drop these books. Where are the books at? Drop. Drop. I don't think we're going to be starting any fires out there today. And boy, we have a lot of birch. Just drop those. And that's good enough for now. All right. Yeah, let's go take a quick walk down to the water. And I think I might should bring the rifle. How much rifle ammo do we have? 27 rounds, plus there's probably 10 in the rifle, right? Oh, no, no, I don't want to pick it up. Does it say? It doesn't say. 
Just for that other wolf out there. Plenty of, eh, let's stick with the handgun. We got a lot of handgun ammunition. We'll save the rifle ammo for the final trip to the airfield. All right, gun up and out we go. All right, beautiful day. Let us drop some of that fish. I don't think we need all of this stinking up the joint. We don't want any wolves sniffing us out. Although it looks like the wolf may have left. We've got the one dead wolf over here. We'll go grab. Oh, there's his buddy. Still sticking around. I thought maybe he took off. And he's coming right over here, isn't he? Don't want to shoot him if I don't have to. We can live peacefully and in harmony here. As long as he doesn't see us. Oh, I'm going to grab these cattail stalks. So apparently these do not grow back. Someone had mentioned in the comments. I wondered about that, whether or not these things regrew. All right. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, wait a second. Did he eat the other piece of meat? Yeah, I don't think they eat meat off the ground unless they're aggroed. So maybe he came back here after he chased the deer and ate our other piece of meat. Yeah, I'll grab the shell casing even though we're not going to do anything with it. Pretty gross you ate your friend though, gotta say. Yeah, we don't really need that meat. Now that we have the fish, I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's go check the tip-ups. Yeah, I mean at this point there's really not much left to do other than prepare for the journey. And we have to go through Forlorn Muskeg to the uh, Broken Railroad and then to some kind of a transfer line. And then from the transfer line there's like another transition zone. And then the transition zone to, I think, the uh, the airfield. So it's it's a bit of a hike. Yeah, these are frozen over completely. I thought we had another hatchet. I wish we had another one. Oh, it's a big old bass. And the last one. Let's see what we got. Ooh, getting cold. Really? Oh, it's a chilly day. It's interesting. Oh, the line snaps. We lost that one. Okay, fair enough. We got two. It's good enough. Almost eight pounds and four pounds. The more food, the better. All right, now. Um, I guess we'll go back to camp office and do some repair work. Oh, he just got another fish. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, he smells us with the fish. Wolfie's coming right over. Oh, wow, look at him. He's going straight for that shed. Oh, no. Didn't fool him. All right. All right, buddy. I'm going to do it. All right, got him that second shot. Saw the blood. He may bleed out. Grab a shell casing, even though we're not going to use them. But I know people will mention it in the comments. All right, I think we're clear. 10%. All right, last one. <laughs> Another feature. Excellent. Okay, if we get a jingle, I'm not turning around. Ignore the jingle. No jingle. You know what's odd is that the flask does not spawn anywhere on this lake. Like there's the three fishing cabins, the huts, and then the actual fishing cabins along the shore of the lake too. You'd think that the people that come out here to do the fishing would bring a flask. I know I would in this kind of cold weather, for sure. I had an old Stanley. In fact, I think I still have it. I know they're all the craze right now, especially the pink Stanley Cup, but Stanley's been around for a long time. And that was a, a regular thing that we would bring out 
Especially duck hunting when you're sitting in a, in a duck blind in this kind of weather. We would have um, chicken noodle soup or chicken broth or something like that to warm up. And it would stay hot all day. Those Stanley Cups are amazing. All right, in we go. I said cup, didn't I? Yeah, I fell for the marketing term. We never called our Stanley thermoses cups or mugs or flasks. They were called thermoses. Stanley thermos. That's what they are. Insulated thermos. But now the uh, that, that pink cup is based on like Stanley Cup, like the hockey trophy award, right? Very clever marketing. Okay, anyway, uh, let's drop some stuff here. Yeah, this is just going to be very chill repair work. It's not going to be super fun. I'm going to sit right here on this lovely fishy carpet. Oh, it's perfectly appropriate for today's activities. Um, and we have some sharpening and repair stuff to do. I wonder if we should get a fire going. Um, might make sense to do the fire now and cook all of the um, all the fish and have them ready to go. If we're going to be sitting here doing nothing, right? Sitting on our butts, like literally. We have four coal. Yeah, might as well go grab the fish and do that. And I'm probably going to need more cloth and everything too. Yeah, let me grab all the fish. How many fish do we have anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Um, I wonder how long this lunker is going to take. I might not cook that one. <laughs> Maybe we'll save this for a trophy. Can you make a trophy? All right. Well, let's cook up the four anyway. That's going to take at least an hour. It's like a half an hour a piece. We can cook two at a time. So, according to my calculations, that's like an hour. Up we go. Alright, let's get the fire going. Oh, we do have a pot of water up here, so that's going to throw off my math. Dang it! <laughs> it's always something. Right, we'll throw two coal in there. We, like I said, we'll, we'll get a bunch of coal later, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, oops. Let's pick that up. I want to use a skillet because it's new and it's cool. Place a skillet. I think it might actually be faster in the skillet. And we will cook a whitefish. 28 minutes. And this will become potable. I could take this water off and just use the um use the purification tablets. I think I will. Let's take it and throw some fish in there. Cook a small mouth. Yeah, we have lots of putrefaction tablets right here. Grab them. It will sit here by the fire. It will do some mixing and some sharpening and some fixing. Uh, drink or drop? No, neither. I want to use this. There we go. And another. Okay, that's all of it. We now have a gallon of fresh agua. Oh, did I only pick up three fish? I thought I picked up four fish. Did I not? Huh. Okay. Well, I will go grab another fish. Let's go do that right now. I thought I grabbed four. All right, out we go. Um, let's do another small mouth. Oh, oh, I hear that fish sizzling. Smells delicious, too. Oh, baby. Look at that. <laughs> All right, and while that's cooking, let us do some sharpening. Look at that poor axe. 11 minutes of sharpening. Only 4% per sharpen? Holy smokes. Yeah, this is why it would have been smart to have a backup axe. I think the hammer is really good for breaking ice too, but we don't have a hammer and they're really, really heavy. <laughs> I know we've seen the hammer a couple of times. Oh boy, are these, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Don't want the barn. Don't burn them. Get another one going. 
half an hour on the skillet. I think the time depends on the weight, right? Which makes sense. Get that guy cooking there. 38 and 28. And an hour of fur left. All right. So the axe is now up to 59. Let's do one more. One or two more. We're not really going to be using the axe that much, I don't think, from here on out. But it's only 11 minutes. Sharpen up the knife, too, a little bit. And check on the fish. And it's done. And done. Excellent. Okay. So... We have 27 minutes left. Not really enough to do anything. Maybe maybe make one tea. Let's make a tea here. And pick that up. Pick it up. And maybe we can make a coffee. And, uh, oh, 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 oh. Grab the moose kicks. We got moose kicks. Just one. Just one, just one, just one quick. All right, we'll have all this ready to roll. Let's do another axe sharpen, and then our coffee and tea should be done. Just don't let it burn. Take it. And take it. And that is excellent. Look at that. Perfect timing. Four minutes to go. <laughs> I meant to do that. Let's check the clothes. Oh, let's go drop the fish outside. Because it's going to spoil very quickly here, indoors, sitting by the fire. Alright, drop the fresh fish. Six pound filet, look at that. It's huge! And then these two little guys. I think we're going to eat those, actually. Let's, um, let's have a drink of potable water. And we'll eat some fish. Now, what's this stuff right here? 93%. Alright, we'll leave that. The two moldy ones we will ignore. Um, and then another fish. Delish. That is some delish fish, if you ask me. Okay. Let us sit right down here. We don't have to sit by the fire no more. And we can repair our booties. They're down to 83%. Let's see, we have everything we need here. An hour and 21 minutes. We are a novice at repair skill. However, we have an 85% chance and this will repair it to 100% if my math is correct. There are three kinds of people in this world. Those that can count and those that can't. And you did it. Good job, buddy. <laughs> okay, now, uh, what else we got here? Okay, two more articles of clothing that are sub 90%. So why don't we fix them up if we can. 27 minutes. But the panties. Uh, panties? Yeah, pants. Yeah. Just pants. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Up to 96% now. And let's see if we can get one more. And well, this is this is pretty rough. 91%. That's an outer layer as well. What's that going to take? Two cloth. All right, we're all out of the cloth. So let us tear down more chitons. It's chitons for you, chitons. All right, that's two. Let's see if we can do this. Um, the socks, they're actually less than 90. Let's do the socks. 40 minutes. Wow. 85%. All right, you can do it, Pablo. Getting tired, too. Oh, see? The second I said it. There we go. Beautiful work. Beautiful. And the jacket's going to be important because it's an outer layer. Both of these jackets, really. But now we need more cloth. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's more curtains. All right. How are we doing on time? Sun's going down, so we're not going to be able to do this in the dark. Probably get maybe one more shot. 40 minutes to cloth. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Yay. Awesome. Wow. That was like four repair jobs in a row. Oh, and we've got our toque. Can you do the toque? 27 minutes. Come on, pal. You can do it. Do it for Canada and their fine lemonade. Holy smokes. This guy's on a, on a roll. <laughs> 
That's fantastic. And we have a little more cloth right here. We'll break it down. I'm probably going to have to sharpen that knife up again. That's always a guarantee. Success, isn't it? Yeah, let's do it. 15 minutes, sharpen it up. Man, that fish stays in your belly for a nice long time, doesn't it? All that protein. Excellent. Feels like something is sapping my energy. Sewing is very fatiguing, my friend. You wouldn't think so, but it is. I'm going to grab that pot and put this here. Drop it. There you go. Um, all right, yeah, so I think what we're going to do is call it quits right here. It is almost nighttime. I'm going to do a little bit of organizing off camera and then hit the sack and we'll be ready to go in the morning. Oh, yeah, we can break those down to get more leather because I think we need leather. Um, do we need leather for this? No. Okay, we're going to save that one for later because I, I feel like we're going to run out of sunlight if we try doing that one. Hour and a half. We can tear this down. Ten minutes. Yeah, sure. Harvest that. I'm not going to be driving anywhere soon. So we'll take the leather. All right. Beautiful. Um, yeah, let's call it quits right here. So that was fun. We did a little fishing today. Took a break from the walking simulator and did some fishing simulation. So that was interesting. <laughs> Got a lot of fish and a lot of food. And I think we will be ready for our journey coming up. I don't know about the next episode, but very, very soon. Yeah, probably next episode. I don't feel like there's anything else to do around here. Yeah, I think I think we're done. I'm just going to step out and step back in to save it. And then uh, we'll call it a day. All right, out we go. Oh, nice light snow tonight. I might grab something to eat for dinner. Maybe just one small piece of fish. Small one. 1,200 calories. Wow. All right. Yeah, we'll grab that one. That'll be dinner and breakfast. All right. Back in we go. And with that, my friends, we will call it quits right here. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.